Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at Bloatware Removal Utility. This is a nice little utility that uses PowerShell and a batch file to automatically uninstall Windows pre-installed apps as well as other apps. This is great for, well, anybody, or especially if you just bought a new computer, to get things cleaned out, sped up. So by getting rid of all this garbage, you get rid of some bloat, improve the performance and speed of your computer. So you're going to download the file. Just look for the link over here by the I or in the video description and click download now. If you're wondering, download zip. That's the author. And this is our mirrors, either one of these. Download now will randomly select one of the two, so it doesn't matter. So again, author is at the zip. Our mirror is here. Okay, you may need to unblock it. If so, click this link here because a lot of security software will automatically try to protect you by not letting batch files execute. You can get around with that. So let's get it going. You'll download it. You'll have a zip. You'll extract that to a folder here. And there's, as you can see, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, ten, maybe 12 files in here. That's the PowerShell script we're going to execute with the batch file. Right click on the batch file. You may see it differently depending on how you have your list. So. Let's go back to large icons. We're going to right click and we're going to run it as an administrator. User account control, you click yes. And just wait a second. Shouldn't take too long. There it is. So there's a couple things you can do. One would be, well, obviously you're going to want to wait for it to load up. You can toggle suggested bloatware. I believe he has that on by default. It's pretty conservative, as you can see, but you might want to just scroll and see what's checked. Because if you just want to start out and do the basics, you can just remove a few things. But if you use Microsoft Wallet, you don't want to take it out, obviously. If you use Xbox app, you don't want to take it out. So, Ed is up to you. Toggle. There, they're all gone. Toggle suggested. It's pretty good. He's got, But everybody's different, so... You're going to need to spend a few minutes. This is nothing new. You can't just come in and go click, click, click. There are apps that do that. But once again, when you do something and just trust whoever decided what's good for you and what's not, you usually are not happy with it. So the other thing you can see about this is that it shows you some programs that are already installed. So if you just bought your computer, you may have antivirus and all sorts of utilities you don't want. So at the same time, you could toggle suggested bloatware, for example and then check one of the boxes for something you want to remove. Now, it's going to attempt to remove everything without any intervention from you. However, if it's a program and I haven't tried it yet, we're going to try it right now with you live. It's probably going to pop up a window where you got to tell it, yes, go ahead and do it. So let's give it a shot and see what it does. We're going to use the toggle suggested bloatware. I already checked. Let's add a couple more and why not? We don't need get help. Very few people do unless you're on our YouTube channel. People, let's do that. I, I can't resist, I'm sorry. Let's do remove selected. There goes your PowerShell script. It's gonna remove 30 programs. No changes are made. It's going to create a system restore point, which means you can always come back if you remove something you didn't want to or something breaks, which is probably pretty slim chance in this case. And you can also restore these. We've got tons of tutorials on how to restore. So if you took out, I'm not going to use Zoom Music for an example. If you took out the Skype app, you can always get it back. For example, you can go to the Windows Store and just download the Skype app there. So let's press yes and see what happens. There's your system restore point. Oh, I have, I probably have it disabled. So I'm, uh, I like to just break stuff. Here we go. Let's see what it does. So again, it's going to take a few minutes. Now you can see here's an error. So that means it did not install the free registry defrag that I have on there. So that's okay. We know we can go back and do it. Just let it roll. And again, you could use an uninstaller. That's personally my preferred favorite because it removes all your registry entries, startup items, and leftover files and folders. I use IOBit uninstaller. Some people like another one. Let's see if I can get there while we're watching this go. Hold on a minute. I think we're under majorgeeks.com, system tools, uninstallers. You'll want an uninstaller. I like to use portable apps 
as much as I can. But if you click here on popularity, iobit uninstaller, great choice. Revo, people love it. It went pro. The older version is still there free. Geek on the star, you can see they're rated five stars by our readers. Wise is a good one. Highbit's a really good one. This one came out of nowhere a couple years ago. That's a good one. And you could pretty much stop right around here and just pick from one of those handful of programs. And that's the way you really want to get stuff off your computer, not the Windows add remove programs. As you can see, it's still going. We can minimize this a little bit. And that's nothing normal. Yeah, excuse me. That's nothing unusual. These are basically using PowerShell commands, which is why we're in PowerShell. We have, once again, tutorials all over the place showing you how to remove and add these with PowerShell commands because they can be a little more difficult to use. So you can see we're doing 30 of them. We're what? Aside from my blabbering, we're uh, maybe a minute or two so far. And we got to be pretty close to the 30 being done. But let's see what happens when it's done. Anything else I got to tell you about while we're waiting for that to run in the background? Let's take a look at my ohm tutorial. I don't think so. Another option is the Major Geeks Windows Tweaks. That's been rated five stars. I'm very proud of that. That has over 200 tweaks in there. Many of them are hidden that you couldn't even find if you wanted to. Shortcuts, all sorts of stuff in there. So that's another program. You can download that or we have its own category right here. Click popularity and you can browse them and see what everybody else is downloading, what turns them on. And you can do them individually or just download what you want. As you can see, there's a lot of them. I did say there was 200 and you can pick what you want and there you go I hear music in the background there we go Let's see what we got now I believe this was written for 7 8 and 10 so you may get an error or two I don't know if it's been updated for 11 and that's probably what this error is and I said I I think because it's start menu so the biggest changes in Windows 11 are the start menu being all centered, the taskbar, you know, you if you've used Windows 11, there's a few issues here they need to work out. Here's the other thing. There's your log file. So you can actually go through and take a look. So I would not sweat any of these error messages. If it didn't do anything, it quite simply didn't do anything. So your quote unquote error message is nothing more than it didn't work. So that might happen to you in Windows 11. Let's start again here. modified let's see here I don't know where it went I should have read huh well anyway there's a log file in here somewhere so in case you thought I was all that smart you would be wrong but somewhere in here is a log file I don't know why I don't see it, it says it saved it at the desktop in that folder and I don't see it but it's in here somewhere we do type I don't know where it went hmm well it's supposed to be in there but there you have it it's pretty easy to use Again, none of these are really perfect, and one of the biggest things with this one not being perfect is that it may not remove something, or it may try to remove something that you already removed. And once again, just please ignore the error messages. They're not error messages in the traditional sense. They didn't break anything or do anything bad. And there you have it. So that's kind of a neat way to just, no matter whether you just installed Windows or you've had it installed for a year, get rid of all that garbage. It's pretty good. I'm very impressed with it. People seem to like it. And there you have it. That's how you can use bloatware removal utility. It went a little long, but I really wanted to show you the power behind it, what you can do with it. Download is free. It is open source. As you can see, we didn't have to install it or uninstall it. You just run the batch file. And when you're done, you get rid of the zip, you get rid of the folder, and you're all set. Of course, I would keep that folder on your drive for a little bit in case something breaks and you want to put it back. You can go back and check the box and put it back. Whew. There you have it. A little longer than usual, huh? Appreciate you hanging with me all this time. Bottom right hand corner, subscribe button. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.